Hi, I'm Clarence from St. Paul, Minnesota, and you are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Peace. Well, everybody just got new toys. New Frankie? Honey, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think of your new raccoon? Oh, yeah, tell us how you really feel. Come on. Tell us how you really feel. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. I don't think he likes got? the camera. <laughs> oh, oh, we found that one. Which one are you gonna take, Wiener? Which one's yours? Wiener, go get the door. Wiener, get him, get him. And Diesel's got one. And Chevy's got one. Hey, 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 don't wreck it. Don't wreck it. Oh, you already chewed a hole in it. Oh, you chewed the, tie, uh, the tag off. Don't chew on it, buddy. Squeak it. Squeak it. Squeak it. Get him. Get him. Don't tell me how to play. <laughs> These are just delicate. Those are chased for Right away from him? So you guys got four new toys, so we have to find four of your old toys that we're going to throw away. Wait, what? Four? Yeah. I've been throwing them away, is there? Okay, well, well then we'll put four of your toys back in the toy box. <laughs> There's two under three, four right there. Is this one still in good condition? Yeah, that's an well, older one. it only squeaks in two spots, but the fox, though, could probably be thrown out. The fox barely has a neck. <laughs> Good boys. Chevy, be nice. Don't rip it open right away. I have to see what's inside. <laughs> so, hello, guys. Good morning. Not much to film today because I'm just at home. Tonight or tomorrow, I have to go on a trip to Wisconsin, to uh, Rothschild, Wisconsin. Then I have a load that I pick up in Evansville, Wisconsin, that's taking me to Camrose, Alberta. Today we just went on a little bit of a, a hike into town, and when we left, I promised the boys I'd bring them back something squeaky. Well, you promised so there we diesel, go. So we have to get one for each. True. Yes, I promised Diesel, because Diesel takes such good care of his toys. He cherishes them, he treats them so nice. And he's the new guy. He's our foster pup. This is the other Frankie. We're watching him while his owner is. Uh, in, uh, seeing the doctor. She's got a couple of surgeries and stuff that made her sort of unable to watch the dog right now, but we're fostering him, taking care of him for her. Chevy just rips them all apart. He wants to see what's inside right away. And then Wiener, he's a pretty good player too. Player with Toyser. But uh, <laughs> he gets a little more rowdy when he's just at home alone. I think the big guys intimidate him a little bit. A little bit of a full house, but it's fun. It's fun. So I'm just getting everything ready. Uh, I might head out tonight. Yeah, just get a little head start. But now eh, we'll see what happens. Probably should. My load's already all tarp sitting at the yard. So all I gotta do is hook on and go. Well, we decided to come to the truck tonight yet. Get a little bit of a head start. We're gonna drive up to the border and continue on first thing in the morning. This is the load we picked up uh, yesterday. Tarped it all here and we're all ready to roll and rock as they say. All this wood, it's all uh, OSB particle board. <coughs> Excuse me, OSB particle board. So we're not gonna be going very far. Uh, probably just to Latalie and that's about an hour from here, about 15 minutes from the US border bunker down there for the night and first thing tomorrow we'll be uh, on our way off to the races got to make sure there's air to the suspension make sure there's air in all the tires they always work so much better when they're filled with air yeah, definitely looks good make sure all the lights work yada yada don't want anything to fly off on the highway either so I checked everything 
I'm just gonna make double triple sure that my trailer is not gonna fall off. We're gonna jut forward just a little bit, not too fast. We're gonna roll forward gently, yank the trailer brake, see if the trailer falls off. Whoop! Nope. We are definitely connected. Trailer brakes do engage. Try rolling again. Trailer brakes disengage. All the lights work. All right. Giggity giggity. Let's rock and roll. Roll and rock. So I figured I, I wanted to get, like I said, a head start today. Oh, it's gonna be about a full day's drive to get there tomorrow. But when I'm at home, I don't like getting up early. And it also, it wakes Britt up and uh, she gets up a little later than I would be because I'd be up at like the crack of dawn. That just works out better for everyone. We both get a better sleep this way and I get a little head start and I make some money. works out better this way and a very short vlog today we didn't get very far at all we got here to St. Agath Flying J I wanted to get to L'Italia but by the time we we got here it was 1 15 in the morning and uh, I wasn't thinking really because I stopped here at 1 15 right and I'm going to the US which means I have to stop for 10 consecutive hours now before I can drive down to the US and be legal to drive there so I can't leave till 11.15. <laughs> I was gonna get going at like eight in the morning. I don't know, eight, nine in the morning maybe. Because in Canada, I'm used to, you know, you only have to stop eight hours. If I would've gotten here at uh, 1.15, I could've you know, started my pre-trip at 9.15, been out of here at 9.30. Nope, we gotta wait. So I went in here, had a shower at the Flying J, grabbed some breakfast, grabbed some food, took the weasel out for a walk. And uh, we have 11 more minutes before I can start my pre-trip. I've already done my pre-trip. But 11 minutes until I can tell my e-log that I'm doing my pre-trip. Because I have to log 15 minutes at the beginning of each day for my pre-trip, right? I have to have that on my logs. I already did my pre-trip, so I just got to turn this thing on. I don't know, do it again or sit and twiddle my thumbs and wait for the clock to turn over. One bad thing about e-logs, yeah. But technically, I wasn't supposed to be working yet. But come on, who can sleep for 10 hours, right? 10 hours, so I slept for what, eight and a half? Eight and a half hours, and I went in and had a shower. And then when I came back, I just figured I'd get to work on the pre-trip, so I don't know. 10 minutes now. Guess I could do the pre-trip again. It's better than just sitting in here doing nothing waiting for 15 minutes to pass by you know uh, it's better safe than sore too I mean it's better to uh, do it twice than not at all someone wise once said that <laughs> but I gotta end this video here guys I know it was a short video today we were just at home for a little while and uh, lately I've been taking it a little easy at home I don't film a lot I I don't even know where my phone is a lot of the time and it's uh, a <laughs> It's not so good always for my friends who want to get a hold of me because, uh, or my family, because when I get home, I've gotten into the habit of having my phone on silent, or even if it's on, but putting it on the counter and just forgetting it there, just leaving it there. I don't want that phone to have control over my life. I don't want to constantly have my smartphone in my hand, and my wife gives me heck if I have it in my hand too much, so I just don't even pick it up at all. I'm learning, I'm learning. Just don't even touch it, Josh. Just leave it on the counter. <laughs> but uh, uh, it started off maybe like that, like me just, uh, just don't even touch it, don't even touch it. Otherwise, you know, you're gonna hear, you're always on your phone, you're always on your phone. Now just leave it on the counter. And you can't say I'm always on my phone, but now it's actually turned into a habit where she doesn't even bug me about my phone anymore. I don't even think about my phone anymore. And it's better for us because I, I want to connect with her when we're at home, when I'm at home, right? I don't want to just sit there. I'm gone for what? How many days on the road? I don't want to just come home and sit on my phone right beside her. Like sort of present, but not present. So I don't want to be one of those guys. So uh, I don't film too much when I'm at home. Sometimes I do. She encourages me to film. So, like, don't take it that way. Like she, She's always telling me I need to vlog more when I'm at home. But sometimes it's just nice to enjoy that time. 
And you know, we have lots of life ahead of us yet, I, I hope. And I don't plan on quitting these vlogs anytime soon. So, you know, maybe we'll get back into the swing of vlogging when we're at home and getting different footage. I don't know. I go through seasons of life, just like seasons of weather. Seasons where I'm all gung-ho, let's film tons and tons and tons every single day and post it every single day. And then I go through seasons where I'm like, yeah, I'm at home. I just want to sit on the couch or I just want to barbecue or I want to go mow the lawn or I just want to enjoy hanging out with my family and friends without sticking a camera in everybody's face. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's just seasons of life. It's, it's sort of par for the course for daily vloggers. If you don't do a daily vlog, you don't understand. But if you do a daily vlog, like my friend Troy from Beyond 1031, his link is down below. Every one of my videos, you should go check him out. He's pretty hardcore. He makes a video every single day, regardless. He's very, very dedicated. And he's, uh, he's from Washington State, and he's got a fiance who's from Vancouver, Canada. Or Vancouver, not Vancouver, but around that area in Canada. And so they're working on their uh, immigration stuff right now. I think she's going to move down to the U.S. I don't blame her. <laughs> but uh, then they might move back to Canada later. I'm not, I'm not too sure. But he makes a daily video. And he's been doing it for longer than I've been doing videos. So what day is he on? Like 3,500 or something like that? Maybe I'm off by a little bit. But go check him out. His vlogs are very interesting. He puts a lot of effort into every single video. Him and his uh, fiance Angie, they go hiking a lot out in the mountains there, in the Rocky Mountains. It's just beautiful scenery. You should go check him out. But he understands that uh, daily vlogging is taxing sometimes, but he's pretty hard. A little more hardcore than me. <laughs> Anyways, subscribe to my channel anyways because I do plan on continuing to make videos for an indefinite amount of time probably years and years into the future as long as you guys keep watching I'll keep making them how about that let's make a deal you subscribe and you come back and watch my videos and I'll keep making new ones for you